Hello everyone, this is Vaidi from the Amazon Redshift business development team and today I'm excited to demonstrate to you the cost controls for Amazon Redshift Spectrum and concurrency scaling, which will help you monitor and control your usage for these respective capabilities. You can create daily, weekly and monthly usage limits and define actions that Amazon Redshift automatically takes if those limits are reached to maintain your budget with predictability. Let's look at how this works. To get started, let's create a usage limit by simply choosing configure usage limit in the actions menu of your cluster. I see that this cluster already has a daily usage limit configured and I'm gonna go ahead and add a new usage limit for concurrency scaling. These usage limits can be configured by day, week, or month, and I'll choose month. For concurrency scaling, the limit itself is a certain number of hours or minutes for that period chosen. So here we're saying, Redshift, take an action if my concurrency scaling usage hours for the month meet the 30 hour threshold, which is a max free usage credits I could accrue for the month. The action, if those limits are reached, could be one of the following. It could be either to log an event to a system table, or to disable that feature altogether, or generate an alert. You can also create, modify, and delete these usage limits programmatically by using the AWS command line interface and API. Now when you disable your feature or select the alert option, we also allow you to send an SNS notification to an SNS topic, which can subsequently be added to a CloudWatch alarm and send an email notification when the alarm changes state. Now by clicking configure, I have saved this limit, which means it will execute when the thresholds are met. So that was concurrency scaling. Similarly, I can also add a new usage limit for Spectrum which is specified in this case as a certain amount of data scanned in terabytes per day, per week, or per month. You see here that I already have a daily limit of one terabyte and I'll proceed to add a weekly limit of two terabytes scanned. And I will configure the action to send an alert. I'll also add a monthly limit of 10 terabyte. And again, I will configure the action to send an alert. Let's configure those. And just like that, those limits are saved. Finally, when you create these usage limits and you have an alert or a disable feature action, you're also creating alarms for that cluster. You can look at these alarms in the maintenance and monitoring tabs. And notice that each alarm here corresponds to a certain usage limit that you've created. You can also go ahead and edit your usage limits in the maintenance and monitoring tab. Additionally, you can monitor your usage trends and alerts on usage exceeding your defined limits with automatically generated CloudWatch metrics in your cluster performance tabs. Here, for example, I can look at the last 12 hours and see how much Redshift Spectrum terabytes I have scanned or concurrency scaling hours I have consumed relative to my self-imposed limits and how much I have left to consume. Thanks for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you using this feature.